Good evening, uh, Chair Hudak, ladies and gentlemen of the Freeholder Board, Bruce Patterson Garwood. Uh, last meeting, there was a, an ordinance. It was a 2014-64, and what it was, it was giving $204,000 to uh, Acrisure for risk management analysis. Acrisure is, is uh, an agency it's down in Woodbridge. A resolution. Yeah, re I'll just say it. I'm sorry. Uh, Dr. Rubino actually brought it up, and and then there was uh, some back and forth um, as to exactly what it was about, and, and I decided to look into it. And this this was interesting because, and I, I have to bring up that that shady, you know, allegedly let's say shady characters are, are still around from the McGreevy administration, and I just want to I just want to point something out. His name is Gary Taffet. I, I'm sure all of you, the movers and shakers in here, know exactly who Gary Taffet is. And, and there's a Paul Levinson involved also with him. But Gary Taffet was a, a chief of staff with the McGreevy administration back 10 years ago, and he resigned. Now, th this is the same guy that actually is the founding partner of Reliance Insurance, and he's, he's still there where Acrisure is the parent company. So he's the managing partner. And this is, this is the company that you're giving $200,000 to. I, let me just read this up. And this is interesting, because this is the second week now I'm talking about the Soprano State. I brought it up last week. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm going to bring it up again, because you're giving $200,000 to this, this character down at Reliance Acrisure. And I'm just going to read it. Uh, Gary Taffet and partner Paul Levinson went from being on McGreevy's election campaign to being chief of staff and chief counsel, respectively. They became known as the Billboard Boys. Levinson and Taffet formed a billboard business while working for McGreevy's campaign, and with everyone knowing their clout with McGreevy correctly predicted to be the next governor, they worked to place billboards, uh, among many places, along the Atlantic City Expressway. They needed local and state agency approvals. Just before becoming part of the McGreevy administration, Taffet and Levinson sold the approved billboard uh, billboards and billboard sites for $4 million. The Philadelphia Inquirer investigated. The money was distributed to the two corporations established by Taffet and Levinson. Uh, they sold the billboard company five days before McGreevy became governor. Levinson maintained his innocence, but resigned from the McGreevy administration as had his pal Taffet two months earlier. Taffet had problems that went well beyond billboards, ironically, on the day McGreevy signed a package of ethics and campaign finance reforms in the law. The Securities and Exchange Commission filed a civil suit against Taffet, alleged insider trading. The SEC complaint, complaint alleged Taffet passed along the information to five unidentified people who traded for profits of $1.5 million. Taffet never went to court. Then, 38, he agreed to pay $725,000 in restitution, including fines and interests for transactions the SEC charged. At a time when Taffet and Levinson were trying to boost the value of the billboards by securing government approval, Senator Lynch, who actually went to jail later on, then a powerful state senator, telephoned the chief executive of New Jersey Transit and asked them to speed up the approval for one of their billboards along the Atlantic City Expressway. Lynch's call expedited the approval process, and at least for the billboards was approved on December 14, 2001. The two aides turned around and sold the sign on January 10th, 2002, which is one month later, for $848,000. Just another article from the uh, New York Times, uh, very similar. Uh, in 2003, uh, amid controversy, has finalized a settlement in Manhattan Federal Court with the Securities and Exchange Commission on civil charges stemming from accusation of insider trading. Under the terms of settlement, Taffet agreed to pay seven hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. This this gentleman that you're giving two hundred thousand dollars to for this risk management obviously does not serve the public interest. He he self deals. He's untrustworthy. I suggest you pet you rescind that ordinance. I'm going to ask you to discuss it in your wrap up comments and decide whether you should rescind it or not, or I'll even give you to the next Mr. meeting to ask you. You say you're a strong government, right? Thank you, Mr. I just presented you with a case to rescind an you ordinance or a resolution. You can, you can throw me out, but I'm I mean, going to be asking you. I really don't want to, but I mean. Well, I, I, just, I presented a, a case to you, and I would Mr. like Patterson, to hear your comments. Have a seat. And I'll be back also again Mr. asking Patterson. your final resolution. Thank you.
Okay. Any, anyone else? 